Hello everyone, this is Merit Trainboy here, and boy, that was a great trip to that grand reopening of that new model train store caboose. Although it was uh, Caboose Hobbies, if that was the original name, since they have closed down at their old location. But I was glad that they have uh, decided to reopen it by by taking it to a new location. And what you're seeing here, this is all I have bought while I was at that grand reopening of that model train store. And this is what this video is exactly all about. Here we're going to be taking a look at what I have bought from Caboose during their grand reopening. We'll just take a look at the non Thomas and Friends stuff first. Here, this, this piece of paper is just a uh, receipt, but we don't need to worry about that. Probably just it's just because they didn't have the right materials for the receipt. I think we'll be also be taking a look at this one, but this one I think we'll kick off this first one then this other one. So this first item that I got from Caboose are these custom oil barrels and these are HO scale and I thought that I would use these to decorate on my HO layout somewhere on it and looking right here this is not suitable that tells you it's not suitable for children under 14 so these could be choking hazards just like the fake Thomas toys when they broke into pieces they could choke children to death so these are definitely not suitable for children but but anyway I could still like I said before uh, I'll use these for decorations on my HO layout probably at a station or probably in a shunting yard that I'm planning to add on the layout and uh, this next Thomas non Thomas item I should say is a uh, dust dabber and it looks like that this kind of putty this kind of a special putty can pick up all the fluff and dust on the tracks and other stuff as well probably that probably the fake water but I could give this one a go ooh this stuff is really gooey Yeah, this stuff looks really gooey enough to pick up all that dust that would be laying around on your layout. And yeah, this is why I thought this would come in handy. So I can see there's a little bit of dust on the track. Don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll just place a little bit right here to uh, help me pick this up yeah this stuff seems to be working good see all that dust And this stuff is also reusable so you can use it over and over again 
in case if more dust appears. Now the next items we'll take a look at are the Bachman Thomas stuff and I think we'll kick off with this one because this one is one of these items that caught my eye immediately. So this is the Bachman switch tower and I didn't know that that the switch tower would be in this kind of packaging. And you can see it's a uh, in a plastic wrapping that is all wrapped around it. And there's that blue bottom. Usually I've been looking at these Bachman Thomas & Friends items that are packed in boxes. But I didn't know that it would be in this style of packaging. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get it open. Well, here is the signal. And this is uh, this one looks like a an American signal to me, not a British one. And here's the signal tower. All free from its packaging. So yeah, this building looks pretty good. All that nice detailing around it. And this signal that came with this building doesn't look like a British signal. Like I said before, it looks more like a, an American signal. However, you know that in the TV show of Thomas and Friends, the signal arms are, the signal poles, whatever, are British. They're just in a British design. But anyway, I'm sure I'll find this building a good spot on my layout and I think on this spot right here and there's that signal that I also place right here all right next is this Bachman conductor and you're probably wondering hey don't you even got a conductor well Yes, I do, but it was a custom one that it was featured in the Salty's Dockside Delivery Set, which I have showed sometime last year during their during Caboose Hobby's last day at its old location. And also, I even I also already have one of these as well, but but it was it was featured in the Thomas set which was called Thomas's fun with freight set I think that's what it's called but I've been needing to get a, another conductor for a second hand or some other reason but anyway let's get it out of its packaging. So here he is. Free from its packaging. So uh, not much to say about this figure except it looks pretty good and underneath uh, it says that it's made in 2008 and yeah this figure was 
made it in 2008 and the custom one that was from the Salty's Dockside delivery set was from 2009 a bit late for that set and underneath it's all black the other one that I own is green so this must be the latest version Next is something that's new to me. It may not look new to you, but it's new to me. And it's this. This is the Bachman Troublesome Truck number three. The third Troublesome Truck. And I have learned a lot what this piece of Thomas and Friends rolling stock is about. But although to me this doesn't look like a truck at all, it looks more like a cattle car. And but one thing that I do like about this rolling stock is the face. And this is from that classic laughing troublesome trucks, one of those laughing faces that I'm talking about from from the classic series of Thomas and Friends. So, uh, let's get it open. So, uh, here it is. And we'll also compare it with another piece of rolling stock that is similar to this one. So here it is. This is the Bachman cattle car. And this is the one that came with the Bachman Thomas's fun with freight set. And as you can see, it's colored brown, while this other one with the face is colored green. And uh, however, this this face might might be easy to uh, pull apart and place it onto a truck. So it may be if I get another one of these, I'll. I would carefully uh, apply this off of this cattle car and plate and glue it onto a onto a uh, another truck. I wonder. It, so that would be an i that would be an idea. I I wonder if someone has ever thought of doing that. But I don't know. Now these next. Two items which I'm grabbing down at the bottom are are a bit new this year. And it's these red coaches. I was really in the mood of getting these two red coaches since although you know they have been released sometime last year. And by take, taking a look at this first one, this is just a regular red coach. And this other one, this is a brake coach. So, with, so uh, without any further ado, let's get these coaches open up and uh, have an engine to pull them. So here they are, free from their packagings, and let's get an engine to pull them 
on my layout. So here we are at the layout with these two coaches and here I got James to pull them. So let's give these coaches a spin. Well, that was a good run for these red coaches being pulled on by James. And I suppose we'll give Troublesome Truck number three a ride around this track as well. So I'm having it being pulled by Thomas. So this will be a just a two loop around the track. Well, that was a good ride for this piece of rolling stock, so let's move on. Okay, now we're moving on to the last two items, and these are wooden railway, so I'll uh, uh, grab them out. Sorry about that. So, that way we can get rid of this brown paper bag be since it's falling off falling apart so uh, here they are we'll first take a look at Henry and this is the we'll first take a look at Henry and this is the to that We'll first take a look at Henry, and this is the 2013 version when Fisher Price had bought the Thomas Wooden Railway range. And the reason why this is the 2013 version is is because of the face, the shape of it. And the reason why is because, you know, the new version, which is the 2017 version, has the smaller face and that will come and take over and this, these engines with those bigger faces will be hard to find and that's why I had picked up this engine up with this face. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get it open. And this is very easy right here to open it up. There we go. we'll compare it with some other Wooden Railway Henry's that I have. So here are the other Henry's next to the new one that I bought from Caboose. And 
and we'll first take a look at this first one and this is the early version of the wooden railway Henry and of course his tender looks like Gordon's although, and although back then and it I had a lot of fun playing with this model and however I remembered that I've drew some red stripes on his boiler because of because how dull it looks I wonder if someone if if anybody else I should say has thought of trying to do that and however it's a bit a bit damaged and there's a split right there that is now being shown and here's this other Henry that looks in better condition than my the one that I grew up with they have later changed the design of the model and added some details around it and they even changed the tender now it it looks just like the real Henry's tender in the TV show uh, I didn't notice there was a little bit of smudge on this side of him oh well I ju I'll just clean that up later but but yeah that's the updated version And finally, here's the Fisher Price version when Fisher Price took over. The details have slightly been changed, and the smoke box has been updated. Although the face was still the same since 2011 when Learning Curve have changed the CGI faces, but only a, it only has a bit of change and however the bogies make this noise because they're made out of plastic as for the learning curve version they make this noise because the bogies are made out of wood back then they were just made out of wood I bet you have remembered that very well. And finally, here is the last item that I got from Caboose. And this is the Wooden Railway Thomas with Booster Steam car. And you see, I was really powerfully hungry to get this uh, engine. The Thomas engine with the Booster Steam car. The, the booster steam car is the most and uh, I have learned of what this is all about and uh, however to be honest I don't think that this is based off any episode it's to re it's it has replaced the jet engine with Thomas but I don't think though there's a upcoming episode of this booster steam car but but we'll see as the TV show goes on and however for this Thomas that that is in this pack it's got a little bit of detailing that has missed the mark like as for the number one if you could see it but the face looks okay 
and um, inside I could see the instructions and it looks like a collector's checklist I think and the back of the packaging you know, looks like this and here it tells you how to make this booster steam car work by pressing the button so without any further ado let's get it open Well, that was uh, a bit tricky to open up, but I managed to get it out. So we'll first take a look at Thomas. Not much to say about it. Just a plain old stock standard Thomas. Although I already have this kind of version of Thomas, so maybe I'll use this as a custom or something. And we'll now take a look at the Booster Steam car. Looks very nice. says it's here this way and it's a 2012 brand and on here if you can see here it says Sodor train line so yeah and I suppose you guys might want to see the instructions this is what they look like and on the back the usual junky words so without any further ado let's get a battery inside this booster steam car and give it a test run So here is Thomas and the Booster Steam Car on some track. So that way we can give Thomas and of course the Booster Steam Car a test run. And one thing that I forgot to mention about Thomas is that his eyes look like they're pointing this way. But although you don't find that on most of these wooden railway engines of course and I should show you the collector's checklist since it came with it and this is the 2013 collector's checklist so this ta this uh, I mean this pack must have been in box for quite a long time And what you're seeing here, this is all the characters that were available in the series when when Fisher Price took over the Wind Railway range in 2013. And uh, on the back, 
it talks about that you can build your own Thomas Wynn Railway universe after you buy lots of engines, track and destinations and play sets. Please ignore that baning. Don't know what's going on. But anyway, without any further ado, let's give Thomas and the Booster Car a test run. Well, that was a good test run. And even so, if I feel like it, let's add Henry that's coupled in front of Thomas because I bet you guys would like to see Henry rolling down the tracks. Well, that was a good ride for Henry. So, uh, there you have it. That's all the recent purchases that I have got from the grand reopening of Caboose. Hope you have enjoyed looking at them. And my favorites out of all of this will have to be these two Bachman Red Coaches and the Wind Railway Thomas with Booster Steam Car Pack. So stay tuned for some new videos that I will be producing soon and that I'm in the middle of working on. So uh, until next time everyone this is Merit Trainboy signing off. So thank you for watching and goodbye.